We all know Kris Jenner as the business savvy mother bear to the whole Kardashian Jenner clan. I mean, we look to Kim as the reason the family skyrocketed to fame, but behind the scenes, I'm pretty sure Kris is the real genius. Kris is a reality TV star, influencer, producer, manager, businesswoman, and author. Not to mention mother of six, as we all know very well. At the time of this recording, she has 29.5 million followers on Instagram. Being age 63 at the moment, with many years spent being a famous momager, a term she coined herself, it's no doubt that Chris has stacked up a decent net worth, an estimated 60 million to be exact. Totally makes sense considering she's famous in her own right now, made her own riches over the years, and takes a cut of her kids' earnings when she negotiates their deals. And with one of her kids becoming a billionaire before age 25, you can bet her kids are all rich too. Obviously, Chris has some pretty nice real estate to go along with that net worth. As you likely know, the Kardashian Jenner fam loves the area called the Hidden Hills so much that they were sure to buy up all the homes they could inside it and then get some right next door in the Oaks. I knew that Chris lived right in the heart of Hidden Hills, surrounded by our kids, but I didn't know she owned more than one place. I always thought it was the same one. Yes, she owns two in the same neighborhood, and one you'll probably recognize if you watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Well, the inside of the place anyways, but I'll explain this in a little while. Hey guys, it's Kara. Since we've covered the house tours for the other Kardashian Jenner ladies here on Famous Entertainment, it seemed like about time to do one for Chris. Look at her two Hidden Hills estates and see which one you guys think is nicer, and also at her epic vacation home in Palm Springs. We did ones on the other ladies in the fam like I mentioned, including Kylie, Chloe, Kendall, Courtney, and Kim. We'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. As always, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. Now let's get into this video. So the house you may know as Chris's OG home or the family gathering space is located in the Hidden Hills neighborhood of Calabasas. Obviously. This gated community offers multi-million dollar mansions and Chris, Kim and Kylie all have multiple properties here. This home is considered the original Kardashian family home and if you've ever watched Keeping Up With The Kardashians, you've probably seen the famous entryway before. Hi, welcome to my house at Christmas. Come on in. Okay, so I know it isn't Christmas yet, but that has to be the best holiday decor I've ever seen. Anyways, we've seen this entryway many times with all of the family members. Hey, Kendall Jenner. Hi. I came here to ask you 73 questions very, very quickly. Let's do it, come on in. All right. So, here we are in the home you grew up in. Yeah. That black and white tiled floor is iconic to me and is definitely inspiration if I ever get a home like that. Yeah, I wish. This home was designed by an LA designer, Jeff Andrews. Chris's family home is 8,860 square feet with six beds and 7.5 bathrooms. The style is super classy and definitely resembles Chris's tastes. Looking at the master bedroom, you can see all of the darker shades of gray and luxurious vibes. The kitchen is elegant and clean. Although the property was purchased back in 2010 for around 4 mil, if Chris put the place back on the market now, it would be worth at least 6 million if not more. I mean, think about the star factor and all the work that was put into it for renovations. I don't think it'll be for sale anytime soon though. The interior shots from Keeping Up With The Kardashians were actually filmed in the home, but for privacy reasons, they didn't show the exterior. Too many stalkers and super fans were trying to hunt the fam down. So these shots were actually a stand-in home. The fake house is located in Studio City, California, not the Hidden Hills, but it's still gorgeous on the inside and definitely has that celebrity vibe. It's called the Iridale Estate if you are curious and has seven beds and nine baths, even more than the real home. Now let's move on to Chris's second mansion and more recent purchase in the Hidden Hills. In 2017, Chris got this spot for almost 10 million and it's located just across the street from Kim and Kanye's palace, which we also did a house tour on by the way. This home is 9,400 square feet with six beds and eight baths and sits on 1.28 acres of land. Sounds like plenty of room for when all of Chris's kids and grandkids come visit or stay over. Some features of Chris's mansion also include a swimming pool and spa, a home movie theater, and a game room. Hi guys, I'm Chris Jenner. Come on in. Hey. 
Although the house was already perfectly renovated when Chris bought it, she did want to make the interior her own in terms of design. Designer Waldo Fernandez and mother and son team Kathleen and Tommy Clements helped Chris bring her vision to life. The home has a really open floor plan, which is something Chris loves about it. You can catch the perfect view of the pool and yard from what's called the Great Room. I mean, she already had a living room, so they had to think of another name for this one. I love this room because it's open to the kitchen and you can see when you're cooking and entertaining in this part of the house, everybody can be together, so I love that. I think the actual living room here is pretty gorgeous as well, though. I like both. So I hope you guys like it. This is the living room and love the way that the colors just make me feel so calm. So it's a real special part of the end of my day. The kitchen is another important space in the home for Chris and it has a sleek design, but it's still super functional. The whole family can hang out here like she says. We're in the kitchen all the time. We pretty much live here. It's the heart of the house. Someone's always cooking in here. With such a big family, I'm starting to understand why the Kardashian Jenners all buy houses next door to each other. If I was them, I would do the same. One thing I noticed about Chris's newer home is that her master bedroom has a much more minimalistic vibe than the last one. I like the fact that the room lets in a lot of light, but I actually like the master bedroom in the other home a little bit better. What do you guys think? Chris's walk-in closet is also something to envy, but seeing most of the Kardashian Jenner ladies' closets, I'm not surprised that hers is fabulous too. Gotta love Chris's personalized momager luggage in the background. Amazing. Isn't I it have fun? never seen something like this, ever. Well, this you have to crazy. remember this is 62 years of collecting. So it's not like this just happened all at once, but let me give you a little tour around okay. and then we'll end up back here. Okay, let's so do it. So that, this is where, you know, all my stuff, all the glitter and the fun gowns are. The woman has quite the collection of designer bags. Looking at this home, you can see that it's super chic just like Chris, but you may think it's slightly simple for a Kardashian Jenner. Chris purposely toned it down for her home so it feels peaceful to her. She said, I don't enjoy going out as much as I used to. My job is so hectic and chaotic. I'm always running a million miles an hour. I wanted my home to feel like a sanctuary, perfectly calm and peaceful. Mama Chris's real estate doesn't stop there. Outside of Hidden Hills, she also has a gorgeous vacation home in Palm Springs, and this one might be even more lavish than the other two. Apparently, Chris paid $12 million last year for this mansion inside the gated golf community, the Madison Club. The price is one of the highest paid for a single family home in the Coachella Valley. It's 11,000 square feet with seven beds, eight full baths, and two half baths. Outside, there's 3,500 square feet of living space too. Now that's a mansion. Although the holiday home is only one floor, it's a huge one. This place looks like more of a vacation resort than a house to me, but maybe that's what Chris was going for. There's a ton of entertainment space inside, aside from all of the bedrooms. And outside you'll find a 100 foot long infinity pool and spa with views of the hills in the background. I love this vacation home and I honestly don't know which one of Chris's mansions I like best. Which one do you guys like? Let me know down in the comments. So these three homes aren't all the real estate Chris owns, but they're the ones she actually lives in. She has some smaller properties and condos elsewhere in LA that she owns, but I'm guessing they're just investments. After seeing Chris's two mansions in Hidden Hills and her giant vacation getaway in Palm Springs, I think she might just have the best real estate portfolio out of the fam. Clearly, Chris also has great taste in design and knows how to make her home look elegant. Which one of Chris's homes do you like the best? The original Kardashian family home, her newer mansion in Hidden Hills, or the Palm Springs holiday home? I think the one in Palm Springs is pretty crazy, but I kind of like the original place. Okay guys, so now I'll be reading out some of your comments from previous videos. On our Khloe Kardashian house tour, Cheryl Johnson said, I appreciate that you say who the interior decorator was. Thanks Cheryl, I think it's important because it tells a lot about the style of the home. Pamela also commented on our Chloe vid saying, Chloe's house has always been my favorite. She has great taste. And I couldn't agree more, I think her house is still my fave too. Sweet June left some comments on our Kim K and Kendall Jenner house tour vids saying about Kim's house, I like the house better before, it looks more like a museum, it's not homey or kid friendly, but as long as they like it, that's all that matters. And I love your videos. I'm glad to hear you love the vids, thank you. And I agree about Kim's house, maybe the kids spend more time across the street at their grandma's house, who knows. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Kris Jenner's mansions, I look forward to reading what you guys think about her homes or if there's anything I might have missed. I think that Chris has classy taste and made each of these places perfect. I like her spots and Chloe's house the best. 
Which Kardashian-Jenner home is your fave? Let me know in the comments and let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye!